what makes an online business successful? So an online business is su successful if it's sales and profit after cost of goods sold, uh, interest and in taxes and all that is greater than the cost of delivering the service. That's really what makes it successful. Now, if you're asking how do you make your business successful, you should go check out bestbusinesscoach.ca. We've done a ton of research on what it takes to have a successful business, whether it's online or offline. But one of the keys is uh, consistent prospecting. That's a major gap for a lot of businesses, is that uh, if there's not new people coming through the front door, then there's no new people to serve. And, you know, having a business is almost like having a never-ending job hunt because once you have a business, whether you've got a product you're selling or a service that you do or even a software that people use, now you have to keep finding right work for for those things to do. If you have a team delivering a service, you've got to find enough work to keep them busy. If you've got a product, you don't want a warehouse full of product. You want to make the product and then have the product be used to solve the problem. Same with the software. So, you know, a major, major, major component to the success of every business is constant, never-ending prospecting, which is really trying to identify who is having a problem or would be interested in having you, you, you help them with a problem or you be their go-to whenever they have that problem. Problems are markets, not demographics. The newspaper industry really learned this the hard way when they lost track that newspapers were keeping people informed. They thought that they were just selling wads of advertising with interesting stories mixed in. That's not the case. That's why blogs decimated the newspaper industry because people wanted to be well informed. They didn't just want to pay to get a ton of advertising sent to them. And so by becoming disconnected from the problem that they were solving, a lot of newspapers vanished. If they had stayed focused on the problem that they solved for their target market, they may have pivoted sooner, faster, better to new technology to solve that problem better. So that's what I would encourage you to do is keep your eye clearly focused on the problem that you're helping businesses or customers if you're B2C uh, solve. If you have more questions, you can check out more answers to questions like this on bestbusinesscoach.ca.